Crazy. I just put a video up on my animal channel and I haven't done that in months. <sighs> felt really good. Felt really scary. Felt really good. <laughs> um, I'm heading up to my animal room right now to do my morning routine with all my animals. And it takes me about an hour. Um, and uh, today we don't have an hour. We have 30 minutes before I have to take um, Nash to the vet. And I'll get a little bit more into that um, in the car. I'm trying this new thing for my camera here. I don't know how well it's gonna work. Hopefully it doesn't get me pulled over. Um, but, oh geez, where's sunglasses? So I'm headed to the vet right now for two reasons. One reason I noticed that Chet, uh, Chet is my bullfrog. I noticed that her poop is like, kind of has these Kind of like almost they look like rice except it's like a, a brown pod i um collected some of the poop and i have it right here in this handy dandy little thing i almost freaking spilled this on myself homie the speed limit is 30 on this street what are you doing so i collected some of that because i want to have it tested and see what it is so i just want to have it checked out she's acting like normal eats normal everything's good but i just want to know what what that is if anything um, and then Nash is probably getting ready to start brumating, but I've noticed some stuck shed on his tail and it seems to be sensitive and there has been no progress really trying to get it off. Just got back home from the vet. Um, it's so funny, like the vet, every time I go in there, doc, his, his name is Dr. James Talbot. And every time I go in there, he calls me cause COVID, uh, and he's like, so why are we here today? <laughs> like just asking me like, he, like as if everything's totally fine and like he just can't figure out why the hell I'm there. Um, everything was fine. Uh, he said Nash's tail, like we'll just, you know, I just need to work at it. He thinks that he couldn't believe that it was the same freaking Tegu. He was like, he is huge. So he thinks that he went, just kind of went through a crazy growth spurt and like grew too fast for his own good. And, um, uh, Chet, my bullfrog has pinworms, but every single like bullfrog has pinworms and they kind of live symbiotically and it's not a big deal. And he's like, there's, you can't get rid of them. They're fine. Um, so everything is good, which is a great thing, but you know, I always think it's really important to take your pets kind of the moment you start seeing symptoms because when I was younger and I didn't know any better because I didn't have a lot of money, I would wait and see if things got better and I would wait. And they, a lot of animals, especially like prey animals, they go, things go bad very quickly and then it's too late. So I think it's very important to have reserve credit card, funds, whatever, for your animals. You really have to pee, so I'm gonna go. Um, I have lots of work to do since it is a Monday, but I just wanna let you guys know that all animals are good. Tell all part two. Making, I'm like doing all of the yellow things today. I made some butternut squash. I baked that the other day. I'm gonna make some corn with some butter. Lots of pepper, so much pepper on this. And then I'm steaming these and that's gonna be my dinner tonight, I think. Why are you so cute? Where's your brother? Is him outside pooping? Huh? <laughs> good girl. Oh, no, it's a good girl. Oh, I didn't mean to like punch you in the face just now. Cutie. This is literally my setup right now. Is it like, how many carbs is that if I eat a whole entire can of corn? I freaking love corn. Like, I used to make 
homemade mashed potatoes and corn when I was younger because my mom was really poor and we didn't have a lot of food and potatoes are cheap and so is cans of corn. Um, but I'm trying to like pin some outfits for when Nick's here because, um, oh, that's so cute. Um, a lot of the time he underestimates how long it takes me to get ready. He's like, all right, let's go. I'm starving. I'm like, um, I'd actually like, and I, I, I'm not gifted in the way that I can put outfits together easily. Like I typically always look at Pinterest to get dressed. So I'm like trying to make this easier for myself by pinning some of this. That is just not cute right there with that jacket. Ugh. 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 How long does it take you to wake up in the morning? Like <clears throat> I always need like an hour to like slowly wake. And I always used to be like that. Now I need like, especially if I'm alone. If Nick is here, I'm like, feel like I'm ready to go right off the bat. But like you need like a, a good solid 45 minutes to an hour to like slowly wake up. And I've been sleeping with my windows open lately because like the curtains because um i realized that i'm like so it's so much easier to wake up in the morning when i know that the whole world outside is like sunny and bright because i'm one of those people that is super affected by like the like how sunny it is outside like the the weather really affects like my mood like I really love it when it's sunny and bright and stuff so waking up to that outside feels like super good and it's so much easier for me to like wake up in the morning when it's like I know it's like sunny and bright outside um I just set this down oh dude look at this I mask it's so cute <laughs> so I sleep with one of these on I sleep with earplugs and in the morning, when I start to open my eyes, I can see the light from under here a little bit. And I'm like, if I don't want to wake up yet, I just pull it over. Oh, if I ever need to wake up, I slowly start to take it off. And then I get on my phone, and I slowly start to wake up. I need some coffee. Nick's been waking me up lately, sometimes by putting, like, I'll be sleeping like this, and he puts, like, my espresso near my nose. <laughs> I can smell it. Speaking of Nick, Nick told me that he's going to be here for nine days. I'm so excited. He's getting here on Thursday. <laughs> oh, back in bed after an extremely long, crazy day. I, uh, I'm about to write my to-do list for tomorrow. It's like 11 o'clock at night right now. Um... I just sat upstairs with a couple of my animals for about an hour. Um, I like to do it a lot like with my laptop, like I'll just take it up there and I'll sit in like one of their enclosures or something and just hang out with them. Um, so I did a bunch of work stuff. I worked on some more like content ideas. I had this like idea to do like a, um, a boss, like boss lady series. Um, it's kind of like a douchey name, but kind of like I, I've been talking about, it, I feel like for a year and a half, but like my tips and tricks on like how to interview well, how to like land a job, like things like that. And like kind of a day in the life and like just like random stuff um, when it comes to running a successful brand. <sighs> I swear I have this like giant bed and Leo wants to lay like right there or like right where my legs would go he's got to lay right there and i'm just like this whole freaking bed that was the cutest text message i've read in a long time i love you i love you Ooh, it is the day before nick gets here i just finished all my animal chores i did some scheduling for arctic fox social um, I have a list that I'm working from today because I just have so much to do that I want to make sure I'm working off of a list so that I don't get too overwhelmed. Oh, I gotta hydrate. My lips are gonna fall off. Um, I just got these in the mail. These are like 
lights that you control with an app. Um, if you see on here, you can like change the color and stuff. So I'm gonna put these at the front of my house um, so that it's really pretty and lit up for Christmas. I mean, well, I could use them for Christmas too, actually. Um, but for Halloween, I just wanted it to look really cute when Nick got home. So I, I, if they can do that, great, but like we'll need to see it like, uh, I don't know, it's a third random third party being like the last person to touch like the packaging file, you know? Is it, is it weird that like the word money, the N isn't really aligned over the other end? I don't know if that they could just not get it to do that right. I guess it doesn't matter. It's better to line up on the edges. Yeah, oh gosh, now that you said that. <laughs> Good morning. Oh my gosh, why is my coffee almost gone? <laughs> I thought I grabbed the double pot and I didn't. So I am just about to make my bed and do some stuff that I wouldn't normally do <laughs> because Nick's going to be here today. And Nick is extremely sneaky and it just hit me today that I think he's lying about the time that he comes in because the math just doesn't make sense. I'm no math expert. I'm actually horrible at math, but First, he tried to tell me that he was coming in on the 9th, and then he slipped up and said the 8th, which is today. And then I was like, because he's done this before, I've told you guys, he like was naked in my backyard running around like a psycho. <laughs> it was awesome. Anyways, I think he's going to be here when I get home from my hair appointment, and I planned on, I'm making him a chuck roast, so I'm putting it in the crock pot, and I want to have it ready for him. Um, when he gets here, so when he walks in and he's hungry from his flight, he's got something to eat. But um, I think he's gonna be here. I think he's gonna like be in my house. Like, either, I don't know if I'll be home for my hair appointment yet or not. Um, I put this in the washing machine and it got so clean. Like, it looks so good. Oh, you're so vicious. You guys, this is what my hair looks like with no extensions in it. It's actually thicker than it has been in the past recent years, I feel like. So, but my roots are just like so freaking long right now. Um, so they're kind of, I don't know, they need some help. They need some help, but over here working and raising bleach, please. Of course. Yeah, we only used a little bit of this actually for the, the you're doing a partial highlight? Yes. Right? Yeah. And a partial highlight. And that is like the cutest little whisk <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> this wallpaper is also um, fucking rad. We're just doing a little bit of a shadow root there. Oh, we got the two little money pieces in the front. And I just passed by a nail salon that I wanted to look at real quick and see. Jello two eyes. I just tried to find that on Instagram and I couldn't find it, but there's two eyes. This might be the ticket. This might be the woman that I need to do my nails. This turned out so good. Like, look at how good my roots look. Like, I absolutely love this. Um, she did such a good job with like making this look like this will grow out well, but without making it too dark or too light or whatever, like she did such a great job. I also can't believe how early it is. It's, well, I guess it's 440. Is it really 440? Yeah, but still, like usually I don't leave the salon till like five or six. So like, oh, there's some light right there. Oh. So um, really happy with this uh, color. Super happy with my hair. It looks awesome. And she gave me some really good dinner recommendations cause, and I made a reservation actually while I was sitting in her chair. Um, cause she gave me some really good recommendations uh, for places to take Nick when he gets here. He's gonna be here um, in a few hours and I'm so excited to see him. I can't wait. Um, I, <laughs> I um, am making this for him right now. So it is cooking away. Show everybody your super cute shirt that we put on for when dad comes home. <laughs> We're about to leave to the airport um, to go get her dad. Um, can we read your shirt? No. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh my goodness. 
We are in the cell phone uh, lots waiting for um, Nick to text us that he is on the curb waiting for pickup. We got Piper in her cute little shirt. She freaking hates it probably. <laughs> are you being a good girl? You being a good girl? You can't wait to see dad, huh? Leo's breath smells like dead things, <laughs> as usual. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. She is it's like so, so excited. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Going in for round two of the tacos. Look what I'm, I got. I'm just melting some cheese. He brought this for yes. me. As the French say, it's very cultured. I don't know if you know. What do the French say? Chaise. That's not what they say. It's fucking not. I'm glad I cooked it for nine hours today because I knew you'd be hungry. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Mmm. Mmm. I bought some dark chocolate biscotti things from Costco. Oh, they're so good. Um. I've just been trying on some like stuff. I got some different things from a beginning boutique. I'm just trying them on. This is really cute. Obviously not with what's going on down here, but he just took Piper on a walk. Now she's chewing on a treat. Is that tasty? We're very exciting today. We're heading to the grocery store for kombucha, flax milk, cereal. Oh, I forgot that we had eggos in the freezer. We are going to a comedy show tonight, though. Yeah, do we That'll have, be fun. Uh, face diapers? <laughs> well, that's a good question. And when's the last time you went to a comedy show? It's been, it's been like five or six years. Yeah, it's been, yeah, I think I'm about the same. I think the last time I went to a comedy show was in New York. We just got to um, Arrington Winery. It's really, really pretty out here. Um, it's 80 degrees, although it literally looks like it's freezing, but it's um, 80 degrees. It's really, really cute. There are so many people here. I want to take an outfit photo, but I always get so weird about taking outfit photos like in public. Like I feel like people think that I just think I'm like fucking amazing, but they don't know that I really do it for a living, so I just feel awkward as fuck. <laughs> There's so many freaking people here. So um, we got, which one is this? This is the red wine flight and the white wine flight. It's pretty simple. It's funny, the girl was like, what's your name? And Nick was like, um, I'm sorry, what? No. <laughs> she said, what is the name of the flight? And I was like, we can No, play. she said, what is the name for uh, the, the flight? <laughs> okay, well, of or for or something. What is the name of the flight for the flight? Like, Meaning your name. Know. White wine flight, red wine flight, you can call whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's all Nick. His name's Nick. <laughs> He's like, thank you. <laughs> These were like, they could do better on the crackers. Tastes like cardboard. I like it a lot. Yeah. Hey, wait. Yeah. Oh, this is the rose. I was excited about that. I was eyeballing that. Let's try this. <laughs> I 
That could be like colder, but it's actually really good. I would just find which one was yours. Yeah, it's got a dick, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got home, um, and Nick is putting together this tree for me, even though it's against, like every fiber of his being tells him not to put a Christmas tree up right now. <laughs> I just really wish that there was a Christmas tree that had orange and red lights or like purple and orange or something or you could choose so you could have it up all of October and then you could turn it to Christmas lights November 1st. Oh, the tree's looking really good, babe. That looks fucking awesome. So pretty. I think I need to get like a Halloween skirt for it right now. I wanted to show you guys this fun little skeleton. My grass is like kind of too long for this, but I got this um, on Amazon. I'll link you guys in the description box below. I have the messiest garage ever. We got these bikes here. Mine's actually kind of too small. I don't really fit on it. Um, so we're probably gonna sell it, but we're gonna fill up my back bike tire and then go get tacos for Taco Tuesday. And then guess what? Oh wait, I can't show the house. Let's see what the outside looks like. And then guess what? Do you know what night it is? Taco Tuesday. I said what night? Taco Tuesday evening. It's the Bachelorette! Yeah. Okay. Ah, he's so excited. We're getting ready for the Bachelorette, and by we I mean me. And I turned the Christmas tree on. I mean the Halloween tree. And then we just got this Midsummer. <laughs> You know what? Nobody's fucking talking to you. Nobody. We got this at the Costco liquor store thing that's attached. And then um, it's midsummer solstice. So this one is infused with more floral essences. So typically it's like a little less juniper-y. Um, we grew these. Someone had an awesome idea in the last vlog to actually pickle these as we grow them. Can you pickle a poblano? I'm not hot. I don't know how that would I taste. Think that would be a pickle poblano. If you could pack a pack of Pablano's pe pe peppers, which would be amazing. Would you're like be you're delicious. cute. <laughs> of pickles and pep and pickle and those. Pickle them peppers? And pickle that peck oh, of that would be peppers. Then, then Piper would have a peck of pickled peppers um, that Piper picked and pickled. And, pickled perfect. and packed. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to carve some pumpkins. Um, I got this really stupid book on Amazon and I need to return it, but I think I might need to use one of these because I'm sorry, but nobody needs a stencil for like that. Like most of this book is just, wait, like really, that's a stencil. This is my pumpkin and that's Nick's. Um, we need to preheat the oven. I don't know what it's gotta be yet, so I'm just gonna put it at 350. Tools. Dang, that's a thick one, dude. What's that? I'm not curving shit here. This pumpkin staying. How, look how thick my pumpkin is. Look at that. You're gonna have to scrape a lot of these. No. <laughs> What's some more pumpkin? It's so delicious, huh? It's so good. Oh, you gonna sit down? You get more pumpkin? Sweet girl. Here, give me a little piece of pumpkin. Is it? some pumpkin? Oh, so good. It's actually really good for you. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. That looks so good. So, mm, my pumpkin is a disaster. Um, it was way too thick to carve and so Nick scraped it out all thin right here and then it was awesome but uh, because the weight got taken out of the front it now won't stand up straight so I just punched a hole through it and there we are and I'm just gonna have some wine and when the pumpkin seeds are done we're gonna have some pumpkin seeds but Meanwhile, look at how good Nick's looks. Look at that. Oh, 
or pumpkin seeds are really good. Mm. Nick added onions and they just all burnt. I don't know why he added onions, but. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that was a good recipe. That's good. Is it good? Oh, I put a Halloween movie on for the kids, and I just took out this middle panel of my ferret cage so that they could all run around and play. I didn't take out this bottom panel yet, right here, so they can get through up here because I want to see how they do potty wise. I took Nick to the airport this afternoon, and I was gonna vlog and. We were gonna do a Q&A video this morning and all that good stuff, but we drank way too much last night and do not feel good today. So I didn't really, I'm like so useless. I don't, I, have, I, I haven't been hung over much lately because I haven't really been drinking. Um, just like a glass here and there, you know, but like when Nick's here, we always like overdo it here and there. So we had a really good time because he was leaving today. And so I just basically, I'm like useless when I'm hungover. Like I'm literally useless and it makes me feel terrible about myself. It's just all in all bad. Um, but last night wasn't really our fault, I have to say. Uh, we went to this place called Urban Eats in Nashville, which sounds like a little kind of like whatever restaurant in like Cal California, there's a lot of places called like Urban Plates and stuff. And they're just like, kind of like almost like fast food, but you like walk in and you go through like a line or whatever and you tell them what you want. Anyways, this place is actually really nice. It has like a valet, like it doesn't look inside like it sounds, if that makes sense. Great menu. Um, the bartender was like, recognized me because we go to the same gym and he poured three giant, like giant, like in a, um, like a rocks glass, like this much liquid in there, three shots. For us and I had already had a martini and I had ordered a second one and then he started with these shots and I was like okay I was not planning on doing shots today and then after that that's that I just I I should have said no but I uh I feel rude when someone like gives you a free shot like at a restaurant like makes it for you and stuff like I just think it's rude to like say no so I of course took all the shots and I can't take that many shots like I don't I'm a lightweight like I don't drink like I used to when I used to bartend. So anyways, moral of the story, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> wasn't my fault. And also you should check out that restaurant if you're in Nashville, really good, really great menu. Um, so I've been eating just junk food all day and that's the other thing with being hungover. You just eat like crap the next day and you really don't care because that's all you want. I just really want a Coca-Cola right now. Like I kind of want to just like go fat, go get fast food right now. I don't, I literally don't have anything in my kitchen to eat other than like bags of chips and stuff that I got for when Nick's here. Cause I don't typically keep that stuff in my fridge because I will eat it. Um, yeah, I miss the shit out of him. Like I get like so depressed and like lonely for the first few days that he's gone. Like when he visits and he leaves or vice versa. So I'm just like super busy. I'm gonna, I have like my work cut out for me tomorrow. Um, even though tomorrow's a Sunday, like I have so much to do. So I'm gonna go feed my hermit crabs and try and figure out what the heck I'm gonna eat for dinner since I don't really have anything. Very interesting stuff, very interesting stuff.